just you two. We hired our first employee last week, a gentleman named Chris. He graduated from Pacific Grove High School. Um, but that is one of our biggest challenges right now as we're continuing to grow. We're looking for more people to work on a temporary and on-call basis for these jobs. So if anybody has a nephew who wants some experience or anything, we, we uh, hire 15 an hour, and then we get up to 18. We're pretty bad. It seems to me you have to grow. Yep. Sustain yourself as far as profitability, both, you know, that's your source of income. Yes. So, uh, once again, what do you think the challenges are as, as far as growth? And, and uh, the other concern I had was uh, moving these high-end objects, and it's the insurance, the yep. liability, and workers' comp and things like that. But yep. be pretty prohibitive. You should look into that. In, we have looked into insurance. Um, cargo insurance is going to cost us four thousand a year, and then our vehicle insurance costs us six thousand dollars a year. Um, so we do have a good amount of money going towards the insurance. Um, one of the biggest, I guess, uh, challenges to growing is yes, having the time to do these deliveries. Stephen works full time at an auction house right now, and I work full time in the cannabis space as a director of operations. So we are pretty busy, but we're able to leverage Stephen's job and. Uh, my job and Chris's free time to uh, go out and consistently do these moves. We expect to be working full time by the end of 2019. Do you have your clients sign a liability waiver? I mean, it could be a ten thousand dollars statue or yeah. Aunt Becky's favorite casserole dish. <laughs> yes. Oh, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. How do you? What proactively are you doing to cover yourselves? We have a bill of ladling. I believe that's what it's called, and that's ladling. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and uh, we have them sign that before we do the move. Um, we're looking into sitting down with a business attorney and having a more drafted and uh, regimented um, contract. But as of right now, we have not done that. We're just working with the bill of lading. So at least uh, we've talked about some of your advantages. You're having done this before. You're in this industry. It's a, you can uniquely uh, provide value to these uh, high-end customers and particular, how do you train people to do that? And how do you, you know, how do you scale the business? Well, I've been doing it for a long time, um, five years. Uh, I was trained by people who've been doing it for a long time. Uh, I know how to pass on those skills. I just take them out on smaller, easier jobs, show them the ropes. It's a pretty simple, straightforward business. Yeah, dealing with really expensive items is scary, but if you train them on it, it only takes about six months of training, they get pretty comfortable knowing how to wrap something up and carry it out of the door. So I'm concerned about how you scale this beyond year three. You've got a, as you define it, a very narrow focus for your marketplace. Yep. Um, there are only X amount of high end stores and X amount of senior living complexes in the region. How do you move beyond this region? Well, when we start actually moving beyond this region, we're most likely to be targeting. Once we start moving beyond this region, we're going to be targeting the Silicon Valley in that area. Um, Moving up there, it's, we're going to need to have another truck, we're going to have to have more teams. But right now, because of where we work and how close we are with all of our partners, we're being very descriptive and writing all of our SOPs and really preparing to start building ourselves for scale. So we're going to be replicating exactly what we're doing with the businesses right now once we start growing. I don't expect to be moving out of this sphere for the next year or two. We're pretty content with this industry and community. It's going to be keeping us consistently busy. Uh, but once we do start growing up, we're going to have everything just regimented SOP'd out. Quick follow, follow yes. on to Larry's question is, so what, what is sort of the ceiling here? You said 60 moves in three years. Is that saturating 50% of the market? Is that 20% or is there, what's the headroom? The 60 the moves per month is built, big, is built exclusively off of senior communities. Um, the senior communities usually take a lot longer for those jobs, so that's where we built a 60 number. That's based off of us working with 75% of the senior communities in this area. That 60 moves per month number does not involve the last mile delivery service. Those jobs are typically only one to three hours, so when we're doing those very consistently, we can have uh, just one person in a uh, box car. My follow-on concern would be on the cost side. Yep. Um, how fully have you plumbed the cost of bonding uh, liability in terms of and the like? You've got fuel, you've got labor, yep. you've got truck rental, truck costs. Our, uh, let me go back to this slide. 
I guess I can't go back, but one of our mentors actually told us to shorten down our cost analogy. We have a lot of things built into where we get that $51 an hour number from. We have our marketing built in, we have our insurance built in, everything is built into that $51 an hour 